normally following the predetermined path very closely. An excellent launch so far. All the scientists, nevertheless, are closely watching all the parameters of the vehicle. हमारे संगठन के अध्यक्ष महोदय उड़ान पर नजर रखे हुए हैं। We can see the chairman, Indian Space Research Organisation, Dr. Madhav Nair, and other senior colleagues closely watching the performance of the vehicle. उड़ान के पंद्रह पांच सौ पंद्रह सेकंड पूरे हुए और PS3 से सेपरेट हो गई है। The third stage has been separated. At 514 seconds, precisely as expected. Vehicle performance very normal. As you can see, at uh, 535 seconds, uh, vehicle has attained. Uh, now the uh, fourth stage English ignition auto has taken place. The final stage, final fourth stage, which will take the vehicle into the desired orbit, has ignited at 535. Point eight seconds as as planned. This rocket के अंतिम चरण PS4 का ignition हो चुका है. 535 second बाद उड़ान के शुरू होने से और ये PS4 करीब 500 second से ज़्यादा काम करेगा. Performance normal. We can see from the information that has come from. The systems that uh, the performance of the fourth stage is also normal, and we expect uh, a very normal uh, performance from now onwards. The vehicle has started nicely and giving the thrust as planned. Our Kendra K, Bodhi Barish Vaidyanik, Adhyaksh Mahoday, Dr. Ji Madhavan Nair, Ishwaran ki sadhi gatvidiyon par nazar rakhe hue hain. You are seeing here the large number of separation and ignition events. Uh, the separation uh, events are very critical events in any launch vehicle uh, uh, mission. And uh, the spent stages of the multi-stage launch vehicle uh, uh, have to be separated from the main vehicle once their intended purpose is completed. And the separation should be smooth and collision free under all possible circumstances. So we consider separation events are mission critical and utmost importance is given in designing robust and clean separation processes. That's why when each time a successful separation is there, there are large and the mission control center and uh, the scientists and uh, uh, the spectators applaud the successful separation. This time, Oran ke 656 second pure hue, rocket ki gati 7.68 km prati second hai. और इस समय एक सौ तिरानवे किलोमीटर की ऊंचाई पर है ये जो चौथा चरण है इसका पूरा जलन काल पांच सौ पंद्रह सेकेंड है द फोर्थ स्टेज यू कैन सी ऑन द प्लास प्लाट बोर्ड स्टेडीली इंक्रीजिंग द वेलासिटी एंड गेनिंग दल्टीट्यूड एंड दिस द ग्राउंड ट्रेस स्टेडीली कीपिंग ऑन द कोर्स ऑफ इट्स एजमट ट्रेवल एंड Everything is in good control. Talking about the separation systems, uh, I want to tell you that in this mission there are nine separation events in total. First is the ground list upon separation and uh, they are separated uh, uh, nicely as you have seen. Then the, uh, the air list are separated and then the first stage is separated at uh, around 58 kilometers and then uh, uh, after ignition of the PS2 stage, uh, uh, nicely the four alleged motors will be separated and uh, later the payload fairings are separated uh, after reaching an altitude of around 116 kilometers and the second stage is separated uh, at 260 seconds uh, at an approximately an altitude of 134 kilometers and uh, the PS3 stage is separated around an altitude of around 167 kilometers. These are all the separations that have uh, already taken place nicely and the four stage ignition is going on and all the spectators are closely following the progress of the vehicle from the intended uh, things and this is the visitors gallery uh, with all the uh, senior colleagues and the visitors, uh, senior visitors are here closely seeing the performance. Is the Oran goes fast for center. PS4, the Charan hai. 
इसका ज्वलन काल पांच सौ पंद्रह सेकेंड है और ये उड़ान के एक हजार उनचास सेकेंड बाद पूर्ण होगा जिस समय इसका ज्वलन काल पूरा होगा उस समय रॉकेट की ऊंचाई चार सौ सैतीस किलोमीटर होगी तथा इसकी गति नौ दशमलव सात दो किलोमीटर होगी अभी आपने देखा कि इस रॉकेट के जिन जिन चरणों ने काम कर लिया था उनका सेपरेशन हुआ मुख्य मुख्य सेपरेशन अभी तक जो थे वो फर्स्ट स्टेज सेकेंड स्टेज थर्ड स्टेज पूरा हो चुका है अब चौथा चरण इस समय अपने कार्य में जुटा हुआ है द नेक्स्ट पेज इवेंट विल बी दी कट ऑफ ऑफ दी द फोर्थ स्टेज आफ्टर द रिक्वायर्ड ऑर्बिट एंड द रिक्वायर्ड वेलॉसिटी इंक्रीमेंट आर अचीव एंड देन द चंद्रयान स्पेस क्राफ्ट इट सेल्फ विल बी सेपरेटेड एट अराउंड वन थाउजेंड नाइन्टी सेकेंड आफ्टर लिस्ट ऑफ and uh, at this point of time the altitude uh, reach would be more than 500 kilometers uh, at this at this moment the altitude is uh, 244 kilometers that's more than minute uh, and uh, the final separation event however will come after several days later and uh, that will be the exciting separation of the moon impact probe from the chandrayaan Uh, after it is in the uh, lunar orbit. So, as you can hear, the, the 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 word coming out from the ISRO is that things are on course, and uh, it was a perfect launch. Is what uh, the news is coming in from the ISRO. All right, let's uh, go across once again to our guest, uh, Professor C. Shivaram, Chairman of the Theoretical Physics Group of the Indian Institute of Astrophysics. He's there in Bangalore. So, a uh, perfect launch is what we're being told, and uh, things seem to be going uh, absolutely on course. Yeah, that's really uh, wonderful. You know, it's indeed a perfect launch, and uh, it's going on schedule. So now it's just going to be injected into orbit okay, in a you know few minutes. So that will be the uh, you know most important stage. It's really uh, wonderful. Right, indeed, wonderful moment indeed. But uh, so give us a sense. Of course, you were you were saying yeah. a little while back that uh, uh, the the well, the major apprehension would be to have a perfect lift off. That's something that has happened. Now, really, the focus shifts on uh, yeah, as happened, you said, yeah. in injecting it into the orbit. And again, of course, following the the, yeah. the two years that the that the uh, vehicle is going yeah. to stay in orbit, and of course, all the experiments yeah. that will follow. Yeah. Okay. The crucial thing is uh, you know to launch it into lunar orbit. Because uh, we have had a lot of experience in having these communication satellites. Uh, first, it will be an elliptical orbit now, 240 kilometers and 24,000 kilometers. Then it will be raised steadily, and uh, it will go up to in stages. It will go up to the lunar orbit, and again there it won't uh, settle down into the 100 kilometer orbit. It will first follow an elliptical orbit there, then be brought down to 200 kilometers, and then finally 200 kilometers. So around November 5th, it will probably. Uh, Be in orbit around the moon, stable orbit around the moon. Yeah, right. About two weeks is what. So there are many more, have. few more crucial stages are. Yeah, few more crucial stages are there. All right, Professor Shivram. Also, give us a sense of the the some of the payloads, some of the instruments, scientific instruments that are uh, that have uh, yeah. that that are on yeah. board that uh, that vehicle. Uh, one of them, very important, as you were saying, the Moon Impact Probe, which will be which will actually uh, get detached and uh, and survey and give us a sense of yeah. uh, and actually map. Uh, 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 yeah. and, and give us a sense of water, minerals, and perhaps even helium, something which is yeah, right. at very uh, in a very important yeah. way. Helium three, yeah, helium three. Hello, yeah. Yes, sir. Do continue. Helium three would be uh, 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 Professor Shobram. Can you hear me now? Ah, yeah, I can hear you. Yes, sir. So I was you want an account of the various uh, experiments. That, that's correct. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So the idea is. Yeah. Uh, The thing is, once it's in lunar orbit, the thing is, uh, it'll be there, uh, there for two years, and it'll make a close study of the moon. And you know, the we have the topographic mapping camera, which will uh, you know ma map at uh, close quarters with both a high spatial and altitude resolution, okay, of uh, all these uh, features, topographic features on the moon, and it'll add to the existing knowledge, vast existing knowledge, because two years is not a short time, and it'll be observing the moon continuously. And also, it has got instruments to observe the moon on all the wavelengths, okay, including X-rays. For example, we have got the high-energy, you know, X-ray uh, device. It will detect uh, some of the, you know, it will uh, sort out the mineral composition of the moon. And uh, then we have the. 
All right, uh, Professor Shivram, we will come back to you, uh, uh, but I'm sorry to have uh, interrupted, but we have been told that the final separation is just about to happen. And uh, we see that the orbit achieved is around 256 kilometers uh, and 22,000 uh, 866 uh, kilometers. Suppose this is a perfect orbit as the intended of orbit and the preliminary analysis shows that it is uh, we have achieved uh, that intended orbit. The, the final precise orbit is in the rocket.